Some of the best selling tumbler wrap designs and physical tumblers on Etsy are custom name tumblers. And these tumblers, both physical and digital, um, bring in full-time income just alone, depending on the type of style that you choose to create and sell. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these types of designs, either for print-on-demand tumblers or just the digital versions themselves with one program using Kittle's AI. So over in Etsy, using my Chrome extension Everbee and clicking product analytics, I was able to analyze the first page results by sorting by monthly revenue, just to get an idea of the types of designs for these types of tumblers to create in Kittle. There are several bestsellers. Some of them are just simple um, minimalist name prints some have the birth month flower design which is very popular some are like this personalized sea turtle which is definitely a design created by ai and then they just add the name here and some are just all around prints with a cute font placed on the top so now that I have established that several of these types of designs are making a very substantial monthly income, I'm just going to move over to Kittle to show you how to easily create these types of designs. So let me back up one moment. As you can see this one up here, I'm using this custom birth month flower tumbler as an example, just because I know that these are really popular right now. And this listing according to Everbee is only two months old and it's almost hitting $500 a month. So it is um, showing that there's lots of room for um, other sellers to come in and try to replicate this type of style and design this definitely is not the only type of birth month flower that you can make this is just the minimalist floral version so over in kittle i have created my canvas at 9.3 by 8.2 inches which is a standard 20 ounce tumbler size and clicking on the image generator here at the bottom will pull up Kittle's AI feature. I think that this is really helpful for those who don't want to get a mid-journey account or use Discord or find that too um, difficult or not wanting to learn how to use um, that level of prompting within Discord. The fact that Kittle's image generator is built in within the platform and you can do all of the editing with just one software makes it that much more um, useful and helpful and you're kind of uh, getting away from paying that really expensive mid-journey fee. So all I've typed in was a minimalist tattoo line art of a daisy and little leaves with bold lines. I went with a daisy just because that's a pretty simple one for the month of April. And then under the image styles for vector styles, I clicked on this one called line art. And as you can see, it took me a few variations. I ran it about eight different times and I have another one on a different window that I will show you in just a moment, just in case I want to create both variations. But these are the different styles that it came out with. Some of them I could use for other things if I want to save them individually. I could see this one, um, using this one and flipping it around and moving it in different directions this could be an all over print and not a custom name tumbler but for this video i'm going to go ahead and use this one here so i'm going to delete the rest of the other ones now so now that i've removed all the other ones i have just stretched this out to about the top three quarters of the canvas and i'm now going to add in my name here which is just for mock-up purposes for the regular file depending on if you are selling this as a print on demand tumbler or a digital design you'll want to save a blank copy as is so that you can add the name later when it sells whether you are offering custom designs or um, the custom physical tumbler. 
So I am actually going to go over to Creative Fabrica because I want a very simple minimalist type font and this is a font that I've used a lot on my own store before. It's called Dream so um, you can download this. I'll have this linked down below and I've already went ahead and uploaded this in Kittle and if you don't know how to do that you can just click on your text box to add your text and then add in your name and then over here under text settings you'll just click the drop down arrow and you will go ahead and click this little upload button if you've not uploaded this before and this will bring you to where you can select your otf file for the font that you've downloaded so i'm just going to search for what i downloaded which is dream and it's under upload so I have just clicked on that and now I have it here so now I'm going to rotate it so that it fits directly vertical and then I'm going to flip the flower so that it will line up better with the text and then I'm just going to move this around until I can get the text and the flower to line up so that it's that minimalist totally connected style that we're going for. And when you have it lined up where it looks good, that is basically it for the single minimalist type style, which is this here. If you wanted to leave it on the white background, you could, or you could also add a color background by just clicking on your canvas here and under settings, under background color, click the color that you want to change it to. So say I wanted to make it like an aqua color, you could just pick your color this way or you could add in the actual hex code. So I'm just going to save this as this mint color, which is just by clicking on export and then downloading as a PNG. I'm not going to remove the background because I wanna keep the color. And then that one is saved with that color. And then I'm going to take off the color again and just to make sure it's off i will remove the background so it is a transparent file and click png and then that will download for the other one that i had created before it was a little bit different of a style of a daisy i just did the exact same process i lined it up with the flower you could mock it up in kittle where um, you just go ahead and add in your mock-up from creative fabrica or from etsy and then add in your transparent file like i did here so i'll upload the other one just to show you how easy this is to place this on here you'll just click on your design and then stretch it out to where it fits the majority of the tumbler without it going off side of the edges so you'll just want to fill it out as much as possible i can get that it's a little bit over right there and you would go ahead and export this as a png or jpeg for your mock-up file you will also want to remove your name and save your file without the name so that when you are ready to customize this either for a digital wrap or for a print on demand tumbler, you have the file ready to go and you can just add in the name. You can do this manually through Printify by filling the orders as they come in or you can add in an app like Hello Custom and um, have it do most of the personalization automatically for you and I will leave a link down for them in the description as well the other type of style that did really well from what I could tell was mostly like floral black backgrounds or patterns um, there were some tropical ones so I wanted to create one that I know has done really well on my own store which is the tropical monstera leaves and um, they have always been a great seller on my store in a wide variety of different styles so I added in the Kittle AI light green dark green white and lime colored tropical monstera leaves pattern and for the first one I chose the Baroque style which is this darker one here 
And then for these two here, this one and this one, I chose the style painted and then for the final one here, I chose the style of wallpaper. So out of all of these, I ended up liking the wallpaper style the best. So I'm going to delete the rest of these. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and click on image vectorizer over here and then change the amount of colors that I want it to show. Kittles um, AI is the only platform that I have seen that has this type of functionality where you can vectorize your image and then add in how many colors you want for it to have the capability to change two different colors. So I kind of see about six different colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to six and click vectorize image. And if you already don't have Kittle installed, be sure to click on the link below and that will allow you to get started with Kittle for free so that you can try out all of these really neat AI features that they have been adding and hopefully make your design life a little bit easier. Now that it is finished vectorizing, I'm just going to pull it to fit the entire length of the canvas. As you can see on the side, it has all of my colors so that I can change them if I want to. So say I wanted to change the white to be the light green color. I'm going to change that. And then the lime color, which was the background color, I'm going to change back to white so that I get this type of effect. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to actually change, was going to change the dark, no. I'm going to change the little gray to be black just because I think it gives it, or this dark hunter green because it gives it a lot more contrast. So now that I have finished changing all of the colors, I would just go ahead and add my name for the mock-up purposes. So I'm clicking on text over here and I will just use the same name. And for this type of design, I wouldn't go with a minimalist script type font just because it will be very hard to read. So I'm going to use this bubbly, groovy retro font just because I think it looks good with it. And then I'm going to stretch it out and place it where it will be on the tumbler. So I want it centered and um, right in the middle of the tumbler. And then I'm going to change whatever color that I will offer the personalization in. Um, play around with this just a little bit. I think I'm going to use the dark hunter green and then I will add the effect in. Well, I don't wanna add the effect in unless I, I don't believe with Hello Custom that you can add in like shadows or outlines just because it won't be able to pick it up when you add in the font. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to change it to a more readable color, which probably will be black or something lighter. Actually going to use this just because I think it looks really cute. And this would be perfect for like bridesmaids gift type tumbler designs. I've seen a lot of this type of style in the wedding niche. So this is what I'm going to use. And then I will go ahead and optimize quality and export this as a PNG. Since this type of full wrap design can't be added in here as a mock-up, um, personally, what I would do is just use my bulk mock-up feature, which is in um, Photoshop, and all I need to do is drop my design into my designs folder, and then I can just click on Start Generating, which is my little plugin that I already have installed within Photoshop, and that will mock up my design for me on the three different mockups that I have within my folder. I do have a full video on how to use bulk mockup, and I will link that right here in case you want to watch that full process. Normally, I would dump in a ton of designs and mock them all up at once, 
but um, this was just for one. So then I'm gonna click on my export folder, which is right here. And as you can see, I have three different mock-ups ready to go. I have the one without my logos, and then I have a flat lay just to show the full design and then one with the logos and that is it for the mock-up process i would then proceed to go ahead and list this on etsy and use my ever be extension again to look at the titles and tags that these bestseller designs are using and incorporate them as um, they work with my type of style and design whether it is for the physical or the digital version of these tumblr wrap designs i want to thank everyone for watching this video and i will see you next time